Greetings and welcome back to the Horn of Africa. This is another episode of our Ethiopian run on Victoria 3. And if you have watched the last episode, you already know that uh, France screwed us royally. Uh, just a very quick summary for the ones who might have missed uh, the previous episode. Basically, what we managed to do, first of all, it was unlocking the colonial resettlement and considering also that we have enough um, rank to also have uh, interest, declare interest and start colonies, we were thinking to reach the territory, the state here of Turkana, because this state has a relevant amount of coal, which is something that we do not have in our economy. And we have an isolationist economy, so we need to rely on the resources that are available in our market and we cannot trade with other markets, at least not yet. So for us, getting access to Turkana was our way to get some coal in the game. And, uh, and so basically, yes, what we did, it was unlocking the law for having colonies. We then conquered this additional state in order to get access to Turkana. We already started to also create the colony here in Turkana. But then basically what happened is that France, like a plug, it rapidly expanded in this area, the area of Kenya. So basically they started from this little piece of land here. And in the course of the episode, basically they conquered all this territory, included a relevant part of Turkana. So as you can see, we no, do no longer have our colony in the Rift Valley because this was basically destroyed by the progression of uh, France in the territory. We really have to find other ways to get coal into our market. Of course, a war against France is out of question, guys. France, not only they outnumber us, with their army, but it's also about quality here. I mean, we cannot compete with them. They really have a proper army while we basically have a small army, at least a professional army now, but it's still a small one and we didn't progress much in terms of technology. Also, this area is uh, rich of coal, but that still means to, first of all, declare war against Oman in order to get access to the, to the, um, to the coast and then start researching, start the establishing a colony also here. That's a long process and I'm pretty sure that by the time that we will be in the position of starting a colony here, France most likely will keep expanding. What I think we could do instead is targeting the southern part of Madagascar, the Merina Kingdom, because there is a lot of coal also here. And so this could be then a potential target. At this point, keep researching the railway is useless, is a waste of time. We should rather focus on military. This will give us the chance of creating the first naval base and it will also contribute to our prestige, helping us to maintain the rank that we currently have. We have to really invest the next years in the development of a maritime power in order then to be able to travel to Madagascar and uh, declare war there. I think that's all for the moment. Let's remove the pause and let's see how things progress. I'm trying to bolster the industrialists because um, they are marginalized for the moment. This is a law that is supported by the landowners who are already the core of our government but it's endorsed only by the industrialists. So I need somehow to involve them in the government in order to pass that law. That could be a plan B in case if we fail <laughs> with the expansion to Merina Kingdom. And I'm also declaring an interest in, uh, in Congo because uh, it could help us as well maybe to build some colonies there. Coal mines actually here in Longo, Luango. So that might be another option. Also Herero. And also Nama. Okay. Promise that we don't have a Navi yet, but as soon as we will have it, we will try to build colonies also here. Maybe there are some other options to get some coal, we will see. And as you can see, uh, France is actually moving south as I was uh, predicting. So they are slowly conquering also the state of Hehe, which was 
another state that I was potentially targeting, but as you can see, it's not worth. By the time we will win against Oman and try to place a colony here, they will also make this state disappear. They are slowly englobating this entire area, so not even slowly, they are quickly, rapidly englobating all these areas. And we have lost again position in the rank uh, with the result that now we have lost also the interest in Congo so we will not be able to colonize anyway. So we still have to stick to the original plan. Medical degrees unlocked and maybe this could give us the chance to pass some law like for example charity hospital. This is not bad and uh, it has an endorsement of 11% not bad at all because um, if we will manage to pass this institution then uh, we will increase the life expectancy of our people so let's try to pass this law and we have unlocked the Almiralty this is also very good now we can finally create naval bases let's create two yeah after the iron mines, tooling workshop, shipyards and then naval base, actually we can alternate these two. Very good. And we can now research something else. Um, maybe we can remain on uh, military for the moment. Army reserves unlocked, very good. And I would probably go for the percussion cup. Um, I mean, also general stuff will be nice. Um, but let's go with percussion cup. A French Sicilian rivalry declared. This I really like it. <laughs> As a Sicilian, I can only support this, especially after France has uh, ruined my run here in Ethiopia. Uh, well done to Sicily, it's always against France. In the meantime, uh, we are getting uh, closer to the next checkpoint for the charity hospital. Let's hope this will pass. We didn't manage to pass the law. Let's see. Popular playwright endorses reform. In the midst of the debate surrounding charity hospitals, one of the country's leading playwrights, strongly associated with the Oriental Orthodox Church, has staged a widely acclaimed play whose politically laden them makes no secret of the author's desire for the law to be passed. Okay, Charity Hospital will be on everyone's lips now, plus 10% of enhancement success chance, and it's not that bad. I mean, also the prestige will be nice, because um, we will have a nice boost in the rank. Let's go for the, for the last option. I will sacrifice uh, the chance of passing the low and get some prestige instead. Let us ensure the play gets a wider international audience. Puff. 62 of prestige. Now we are ranked 38 and we are about to create an heavy, which uh, will also contribute to our prestige. So let's try to straighten our position among the top countries in the world. Oh no, the British are trying to expand here in Fung. And I can see that the US are also expanding here. Mm. Subjugation demand. Netherlands demand that we submit to them and become their protectorate. Subjugation demand. Uh, I would say decline. What do they want? Netherlands. They're trying to get their access to Africa because it doesn't look like they are particularly relevant right now. No way, the empire of Ethiopia does not uh, get subjugated by anyone. Also this round we didn't manage to pass the charity hospital. Let's see, discord, we did the petite bourgeoisie. 
An influential faction within the petite bourgeoisie has grown frustrated with their member, with co-members' neutrality on the topic of charity hospitals. Themselves in favor of the law, they have now resolved to form a separate political faction intent on passing it. Maybe we could go with the Oriental Orthodox Church extend an open hand to these mavericks. The damage on the petite bourgeoisie will be bigger, and then we boost, but maybe then we boost too much the, the church. Now, let's say with their support, the bill shall pass. Then Petit Bourgeoisie will get only, uh, I mean, only still a significant uh, decrease of uh, interest group pop attraction. But uh, I mean, I don't care that much about them. And then we get a plus 15% of enactment success chance. And we go up to 25%. I think the next round, we might be able to pass this low. And then we will have an additional increase of bureaucracy because then we will have another institution. But let's see, we will manage later on. Violent suppression leads to increased discrimination. This, of course, is uh, not nice. Radicals in Oromia seem to be getting support from discriminated Lunda citizens within the state. Definitely, I don't want an increase of 50% of the radicals uh, in Oromia for discrimination. Let them protest where they want. Romia gets uh, leave them be for two years plus 10% of migration attraction. There will still be more radicals, 20%. And the armed forces will uh, go to minus two for the next two years. Let's go here. I don't want to deal with a lot of radicals right now. But let me also double check what's the support of armed forces. Okay, neutral, zero. Could be worse. Let's see if for the third round of consultation around the charity hospital we manage to finally pass the law. And this is not the case, health taxes. With the calls for some form of healthcare system, many are questioning where the money for setting up the new healthcare system will come from. This is actually a valid point, to be honest. Some are suggesting simply taking it out of our tax fund, while others insist the government should find another way to cover the cost. We can get by without it, <laughs> plus 10% of enactment success chance. It's an interesting promise. Definitely, I don't want to have big milos. Like here, the government expenses are insane. And also here, the tax income and the damage on the industrialists that are already marginalized. So let's go with this final option and uh, it will increase our success chance. Other 10%, so the last round should be the next one. Let's see. But actually, it's a valid point. Where we will get the money for that, I don't know. We will figure out later on. <laughs> First, let's pass it and let's make sure that the population keep growing because of the improved health conditions. And here there is a new play started from uh, France in, ja in Zanj. They are targeting now Hehe, exactly as uh, expected. So they expanded as much as it was possible and now they are at war. What if we just for curiosity move here? Let's see. I don't want to go at war with France. It's just to see if they start mobilizing their troops. Hey, they are not offering us anything. Then we will declare neutrality. Sorry. And then there is industrial barriers event in Oromia. Factories in the Ethiopian Rift Valley are refusing to hire Maltese people. But, but why should we discriminate Maltese people? How can people from Malta be there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, owing to their status, a second class citizen in Ethiopia. I didn't know. Do we have really Maltese people in our population? Okay, it's fine. I, I will believe that it is true that we have Maltese people in Ethiopia. 
So um, I, I will be surprised because I really don't understand how they managed to reach there, but it's fine. All hands are needed to build the future and the church will get a minus two. No, 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 no. Manufacturing industry throughput, absolutely not. We don't want to damage anything and also the standard of living. I think the church has enough support. Let's sacrifice that we still go to plus 12. It's fine. And we now have charity hospitals. As I was saying, wow, this is uh, quite a malus, but uh, yes, it was predictable because now we have a new institution. It enables health system institution minus 5% mortality, which means that our population will keep expanding. Uh, it's only a minus 5%, but it should be significant in this part of the world. So we will definitely need to build uh, a new government administration building. As the intelligentsia was proposing, we might now focus on appointed bureaucrats. Um, it will increase our taxation capacity. That will be nice. And of course, it will give more strength, political strength to the intelligentsia, which is also nice, I will say, if we want to modernize our country. On the other hand, there is 49% of opposition to it. Let's see if there are better laws that we can pass right now. So professional army, we do not touch it. Uh, all the others are fine. Yeah, let's try. I mean, let's just try, but I doubt we will ever be able to pass it. And now we have our first float. Yes, wow, incredible. <laughs> Finally. We have a ridiculous amount of float. Yes, we should reach at least five. If we want to achieve something in life, I think. And man wars are expensive, of course. Okay, let's build first the shipyards, then the government administration building. And then maybe even more shipyards, I will imagine. I mean, they're completely not profitable, but now that there is the demand, things might change. Ethiopia start forming their navy, be careful world. And unfortunately, all the cost uh, here is getting colonized either by the British or by the Americans or by Portugal. And because of that, I mean, we do not have the possibility to establish a colony, not even now that we have a navy. I'm not sure why, honestly, because at least the small navy we have it. So in theory, we could leave our port here and start initiating, let's say, a settlement here. But... Apparently, the game does not allow me to do so. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think that we will have to stick to the plan of uh, conquering the southern part of uh, Madagascar. Too bad that we cannot really use our convoys for uh, trading because we do not have the possibility to change the, the trade policy for the moment. Said so, guys. That's all for the moment. Today is the 18th of July, 1860. And uh, yeah, guys, we can see how things will progress with our navy in the next episode. And who knows, maybe we will be able to declare wars again soon. On the other hand, I must say, I had declared a war per episode basically until this point. This is the first episode where I'm not declaring any war. So maybe if we will need to wait a little bit more, it's not a big issue considering that we had many wars already at the beginning of this run. But let's see. Let's see what it will happen. I hope, of course, to see you there. And if this will be the case, guys, see you in the next video. Cheers.